who is the perfect person for succeeding with print on demand? I thought I should answer this question as I feel there's slight confusion with the viewers of my YouTube channel and I don't blame you because I've been bringing out videos with titles like this and titles like this and titles like this. So I really don't blame you for being confused, but in this video, I want to clear it all up. You're probably thinking, should I be going into print on demand? Ah, yes or no, what should I be doing? Well, let's discuss. Firstly, if you are new here and you have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about regarding those other videos that I just mentioned, I highly recommend going to check them out. They're really, really, really good videos. And as well as that, if you haven't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, because you know what? It's really helpful for the YouTube algorithm and it gets me more views and it just makes this whole experience a lot more enjoyable. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let me start by saying, I'm just one guy with my one opinion. There are plenty of YouTubes out there with other opinions. And the truth of the matter is, these opinions are just things that are working for the individual at the time. So if Greg says something about print on demand and he's like, do this, it's brilliant. It just means it's working for him, right? And if Wholesale Ted tells you to do, you know, this thing, it could be the opposite of what Greg is saying. It just means it's what's working for her. All right, so anything I tell you to do is obviously my opinion and it's what's working for me. Okay, which is another reason why I like to make videos discussing Amazon FBA so often because Amazon FBA is working for me on such a high level, I want everyone else to give it a go. But you have to realize that because this, because whatever these YouTubers are saying, including myself, because they're saying do something because it's working for them, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. So your burning questions, the reason you came to this video, who is print on demand for? What skill does this person possess? How much money does this person need? And who will be successful? Well, let's start with this. Okay, there is no defining factor that is going to say you are going to be successful with print on demand. Okay, there's nothing like that. There's no skill that you might possess. There's no amount of money you might have in your bank account. None of that matters. I know I made a video, you know, a couple of weeks ago where I discussed three types of people, Bob, Sam and Tom, a designer, a marketer, and Tom was more of a chiller. Okay, now, I know it may have seemed that, you know, the designer can do well or the marketer can do well, but the truth is any three of them can do well with print on demand. You can possess none of the designing skills or the marketing skills or any of these skills, but still crush it with print on demand. Here is your answer. You've got to be determined. Now, wait, 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 wait. Don't leave the video because of the cliche answer. This answer works for every single business that you want to do. You have got to be determined. Let me explain what I mean by this. What I mean by determined is you've got to absolutely love what you're doing. And I mean absolutely love what you're doing. If you are just doing it for the paycheck, then go and get yourself a job. If you can tell me that you are doing print on demand because you love it and you don't care about the paycheck, you just love the marketing, you love the designing, you know, you love the whole journey of print on demand, you love the uncertainty and, you know, every aspect of it, then by all means, go and continue with print on demand because you are going to be successful. Regardless of how much money you make, you are going to be successful. But if you're telling me you want to do print on demand because, you know, you want that paycheck, you see people making a lot of money. In fact, I got a comment saying, how, how can I make a million a month? I mean, you're thinking in, that's wrong. That's just the wrong way of thinking. Okay, so if that is the sole reason why you are doing print on demand, you are going to lose motivation very quickly because like I said in all my videos, print on demand isn't easy and it can take time. And in order to continue and push through, you know, the failed t-shirts and the long time it can take, you need that motivation to come from somewhere. And if you truly love doing print on demand, you've got all the motivation you need. But if you're doing it for the paycheck, you are going to give up very, very quickly when you don't see immediate returns. I wanted to make this video to really just clear up this topic on my YouTube channel because I don't like it if people are confused or they don't really understand. So the idea of this video was just to clear everything up and you know, I want to tell you that the reason I did print on demand is because I love designing t-shirts. I love design and art and anything like that. And at the time, I was really, really into it. And the only reason why it's slowed down now is because of time, not because I don't still love doing it. When it comes to actually designing a t-shirt, I love the, the everything that is involved in designing and selling a t-shirt. 
But like I said, time is a huge factor for me at the moment. I have a lot of expenses and I have big goals that I really want to achieve, you know, by the end of the year, by the end of next year. So the way I think of it like this is I, I, I categorize everything I do into how much enjoyment I get from it and how much money it can make me. So with print on demand, I got a lot of enjoyment of it, but I didn't actually make a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of money. Okay, but it was really, really fun. So then you've got to kind of think, well, do you want to do it? Do you not want to do it? So for me, print on demand has become more of a hobby that I can do on the side, you know, designing and selling t-shirts. And if it makes money, then brilliant. If it doesn't make money, it doesn't matter because the point is I'm enjoying myself and that's the aim here. Okay, and then alongside that, I'm doing all these other businesses that I find really enjoyable and also pay really well. And that way I'm able to achieve all my goals and it's like a win-win situation. So I hope this video cleared it up a lot. I have nothing against print on demand, nothing at all, as long as you're doing it for the right reason. If you wanna start a business that you can maybe sell at one point one day, then maybe Amazon FBA is the right option for you. But if you truly love doing print on demand and you love every aspect of it, then go for it and you'll see success at some point. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below your opinion on this matter. I want to hear your opinion just as much as you want to hear mine. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.